Welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. I'm Jeff Allison, and thank you for watching. Well, welcome back to uh, Allison Customs. Um, so one of the projects I got here today is decided to upgrade my uh, tubing bender with a hydraulic ram setup and uh, trying to put some notes on that in there. It's a pretty cool little kit that you can buy online from another manufacturer. Um, anyway, I was tired of yanking on the post and or the arm and trying to bend tubing. So I got this hydraulic ram adapter, which makes it to where you also you don't have to have your uh, stand stationary on the floor, bolted down to where you can get enough leverage to pull on it. And, and uh, so I decided to make me a rolling stand. And what I had laying around was some three and a half by three and a half, uh, three sixteenths tubing, square, square tubing. Um, and I'm going to make just a three leg post. I'm going to put one wheel in the back, two on each of these front. I'll cut all this into miter all or uh, miter all this in so that I can set this other post right on top of the center here. And then mount my tool up here. Then I can weld some pins on it, clean up the rust and stuff. This is just some square tubing I had laying around from a project a couple of years ago. We'll work these out about a 45 degree angle, I think is where I'm going to work. Well, it lets me put a caster on each nice heavy base for uh, for the tubing bender. Then I can roll it around put it away when I'm not using it. Only do a roll cage maybe uh, once a year or so. Um, every now and then some tube bumpers or some rock sliders, something like that. And get all this knocked out and get my uh, tubing bender mounted and start working on a roll cage for this Mustang. Get you guys some cool pictures of that, or a couple pictures when we're done, and a little bit of video here. It's not a very big project. All we got to do really is get a pretty good idea of where we want this thing to lay in here. I'm thinking, I think I want this back leg. I uh, cut that about 12 inches long. I figure that's plenty of stability there. But the uh, as you'll see as it comes together, the hydraulic ram will kind of hang out here over the legs, so that the work piece, the work area is kind of around on this side. And then I may add a couple of down bars or something off this upright down to the down to the floor legs here. Knock this out and see what we get. Okay, so what I've done here is I've cut the uh, angle in there where the two pieces of tubing, square tubing, these long legs come together and they'll center up here and stretch over. And then uh, lay out and I'm going to cut these triangles out on each end. And then I'm going to fold this piece in so that it'll come in and touch this and then I can weld it all together. So another minute or two of cutting and we'll have this thing ready to go.
45 degree angle in there. Bring this piece in. That lined up center here, and we'll attack that. Square it up good. So you know what I was doing is you draw a, a center line on a piece of material. And if this is, as long as these legs are an equal angle, so we did a 45 degree angle, so this leg and this leg, you want them to hit the center. You measure, watching that outside line to your center, and you keep adjusting this leg until both centers end up on the same point. And I was off about a an inch at first, I need to slide it over and then come in a little bit and then tilt it a little bit. So, got all that done and put a weld on this. that flat and laid it back, um, it leaves about a, oh, I don't know, half to five-eighths gap right along here at the edge, because obviously this used to come up straight, once you lay it back, it, I used a 45, it's going to be shorter than, the, the, the straight up is shorter than the angle of distance. So I just cut a little piece of the slug off of the, the scrap metal and we'll weld that in, do the other side, and then weld the top on, or weld the post on.
square tubing. I'm going to clean the weld off of that, and uh, then I'll get that stood up. side first so that I can pull it back because it's leaning towards the camera there just a little bit. And once I get that figured out then I'll try and figure out a way to square up the sides. Feel across here. You got it up this way. Close. Okay, so here's the finished product, uh, well, minus the casters. Still have to get some of those. I got a few hooks on there for the hoses, and I extended the hose out so I'd have plenty of room. I could get pretty much anywhere. I added uh, area down here at the bottom to hold the uh, die pins, a couple of pins sticking out to hold additional dies. I only have a couple sets, so... Um, and got the whole thing mounted up, it's ready to use. Okay, so we've got a piece of tubing loaded up, um, and we're just going to try out the new air over hydraulic setup. Uh, I'll put a 90 degree bend or something in here. Set our pointer so we know roughly where we're starting and we can figure out where we want to end. All right, here we go. Helps to close the valve. So we've reset the pin and just now coming up on 90 degrees.
Okay, we reached the end of the jack there. About to 90 degrees now. And we got about 113 degrees when the jack ran out. Okay, so there we have it, 120 degree bend. Um, started to leave just a little bit of a dimple, so I think I would try and stop a little earlier than that. But uh, looks way better than this one, where I definitely exceeded the capacity of the die. Um, it's pretty cool without having to yank on it. And the thing can be mounted on wheels and rolled around and then hidden. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.